Hey guys, I'm here to show you how to do a cool design that is black and white and pretty much matches every outfit. It's going to be using water marbling. Here's a finger I already did to give you an idea of what it's going to look like. So the materials that you're going to need is nail polish remover, cotton swab, uh, like a silver craft glitter. That's optional. I'll talk more about it later, but you don't have to. Um, clear coat like a silver shiny nail polish, tape, either scotch tape or fingers tape, whichever one, uh, black nail polish, white nail polish, a paper clip, and a plastic container full of water. So, um, before we start, then we have to wrap our nails with the tape. That's mine. I already did it. You just like wrap it around. Try to get it close to covering the nail as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. We can get to that later. And then I took the paper clip and like unfolded it so that I didn't have to like buy a fancy tool. It just has to be something sharp. Even like maybe a bobby pin would work. Okay, so what we're gonna do to start off is just take the black and grip it into the water. What it should do is it should separate and spread out and come thinner. And then we're gonna put the white in. It has, it's kind of a fast process, like you have to do really fast to add it. And you're just going to do that a couple times. As many times as you want, like three, maybe four. However, it depends how many stripes you want. Right now you can kind of see the bullseye. Yeah, like, it'll keep separating and then go as many times as you want. Um, don't hold the brush too high above or else it will like make it fall to the bottom. Here you can kind of see that, see the bullseye. Yeah, and then what you're going to do is take the paper clip and you're going to like drag in the edges to create a cool design that you want. Like any one that you want really. And then you're going to take the finger, it's my thumb, and I'm just going to like gently place it in on the surface of the water. And then you're going to blow on the surface of the water very gently. Just so that the other side of the nail polish dries. And then you're going to take your paper clip and dip it in and like swirl around. And get all the extra paint that was in the water that didn't go onto your nail. And then after you count to ten, slowly lift it up. And there you have it. So, then you are going to, um, like, just let it dry, blow on it, and then we're going to take off the tape. So, here we go. And then gently remove it. See, even the tape looks cool. Okay, I'm just going to stick it there. Okay. So every nail comes out different. None of them are the same. So some of them you may not like. Don't get mad. That's just how it happens. Um. Yeah. So it they all look they all end up looking pretty cool. But it's a really it's an easy design too. So take as much time as you need. It's a little bit time consuming, but other than that, we're good. Um, I think it turned out pretty well. If I could get this tape off. Um, yeah, and I would suggest to use um, scotch tape because it's easier. But painter's tape works fine. Any other tape. Don't use duct tape. Okay. That's the final product. Pretty cool. It gives a nice stripey illusion pretty bright. So next we're gonna use the cotton swab and I'm gonna take the nail polish remover. I'm gonna pour a little bit into the cap so that we can dip the cotton swab in to it. Okay. 
and then because when you have the tape on it doesn't really get around the edge so you're just gonna get around the edges as close as you can so yeah that's it um you have to be careful going around the edges because you might bump into it and I feel like the tape it missed spots you can see spots just go around again with a cotton cloth get all of it or even if you don't like getting nail polish remover on your skin wait until it's like absolutely dry and then you can go wash your hands so yeah all right the next part I'm going to be doing silver on this one I left the ring finger open so that I could use silver so it gives a cool look so that not all the nails are different. That's kind of in day, I guess you could say. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're just going to paint nail the silver polish. So right now you can see it's very shiny. I like the shiny, so that's why I try to get this sparkly brand. Um, and then I'm going to take the um, bowl back. You don't need water for this, but usually I'd use like a paper plate. But since I'm done with all my fingers, I'm going to use this. And I'm going to take the craft glitter. And the only on the finger that I just colored silver, I'm going to sprinkle the glitter. Make sure it's nice and even. It's going to look really weird if it's not. So, um, and then you can blow the access off that didn't get onto the nail. And then that's what it turns out to be. Pretty cool. So that's the final finished hand pretty cool. I think that it's nice. It gives texture and like the look. And the black and white really it goes with anything. So I think it's pretty cool. And then cleanup's easy again. Just if, as long as you have over a paper plate you're good. So thank you for watching guys. Um, you can comment what colors you want me to use next or what nail design I want you to do. Um, open to anything. So there you go. See ya.